All right, so I am at the spot that they called the sanctuary, where they had a party that night that uh, Kylie Rodney went missing. So many of us were curious on what it might have looked like that night, you know, in the dark and the road that she would have taken, what it had, you know, what it looked like. Um, so we're going to drive through here and see. Um, so this is the area, you know, that they were all standing around and having a party. There's plenty of, you know, space for that many people. If there were two to three hundred and for, you know, a good amount of cars, um, you know, could have fit through here. Um, I'm trying to find... So this is the road in front of me. I think that grove of trees is to the left here. No, it's to the right. Okay. So this is a little dirt road right here. Just going to get back on the road. Um, but I did want to show you. See this little group of pine trees here? Now if I come out, I'm sure there's no tree stones here. I'm in a jeep, so hopefully I shouldn't get stuck. But looking at the videos um, from when Sammy was being interviewed, I don't know if I'll come around from the other side. I'm going to show you that small group of pine trees, and then it might help you get a better idea of where I'm at. But right here, I mean, it's completely open. There were some signs of, you know, three or four bonfires that were on the ground, lots of broken glass and things. But, you know, I'm turning my Jeep around in this big open space. But so here's those smaller pine trees that you may have seen, um, you know, in an interview with Sandy where she was kind of pointing out where some things were happening. I believe she said Kylie's car was either parked there or, or right here in this group of trees. Um, but I do want to show you, um, I'm going to turn my lights off and you can see how dark it is out here, okay? So I think the only light you're seeing now is just a, um, a reflection in my car from my dashlight. But it's pretty pitch black out there. All right. All right, so the road that they would have taken exit out of the party location within here and it is a dirt road um only enough room for a single vehicle you know pretty bumpy hilly there's no way you would have been able to navigate this if you didn't have headlights on i'll turn them off again and you can see clearly how black it is how dark it is i mean i can't see anything i can't even see the tree you know i can't see anything um all right so we're gonna make our way down to the road but yeah, as you can see there's no way that anybody could pass um also if you would have you know veered off the road here um somebody would have definitely found you because you know there's there's not a steep incline or a cliff near us on either side. There's a lot of sagebrush, um, some pine trees, you know, all different sizes, but you would have definitely been found. So many people were wondering about that, like maybe she, you know, I mean, it's already known now where she was found, but, you know, before, people were speculating. But the road is pretty bumpy, you know. Making our way through here. But yeah, someone, if they just left alone, you know, and everybody else was back there, their lights would have been the only ones out here, you know, and I'll show you um, in just a little bit um, the way she must have gone. And, um, you know, if someone was just directly behind her in the car in another vehicle, they wouldn't have known she would have turned right there's no way you would have seen a car going that way but there are there has been several cars you know out here driving around the dark i've seen you know headlights here and there but you kind of just think they're coming out here to you know do whatever so that may have been the case maybe somebody did see her but they thought she was just you know um i don't know, I don't know. all right so at the end of this dirt road it actually um ends in like a y so there'll be a there'll be a spot where you'll have to either go right or left and that's it straight ahead is like a little hiking area um i did that on saturday but there's no other signs or anything okay so here's where you come to the t in the road now if you go left that goes out to the main campground road that is a paved road um of ways and then to the right is the way to the water so this is the way that she must have went that that night now this road is um unpaved as well it's just a dirt road um it is a bit wider there are some more um you know bigger bigger hills and crevices here um definitely wouldn't i would not want to drive this in a regular vehicle um hopefully it'll show on the camera but there's some quite a big bumps but this is mostly most likely the road that she came down okay so up here you'll see um a tree so it also comes to a t right here so you have to make the choice to go right or left now both another big hole here all right, so here's the tree. Now, if you go to the right, um, there's water that way as well. Um, to the right, that's where the water kind of leads around to the other side of the campground. Now, the water, it's not really close to the sanctuary area that they were. Um, it's more shallow, but there is water over there. Um, and this is the way that she would have gone. Now, this way is, I don't know if you can see, but maybe I'll try to go down. This is a Jeep, so I can't take it. But it's like very crevicey, bumpy. Of course, her Honda would be able to make it, but it's, it's definitely not a smooth, flat road. You're going to feel, you know, the bumps, especially if they're going really fast. Um, you know, kind of turns a little bit here to the left, but this is heading towards the area where she was found. I'll turn my lights off real quick. You can see how dark it is um, if you didn't have them. So this is the spot she would have gone down. I'm on a slight incline, not too much. Like my foot right now is not on the gas, but it is rolling down. Um, there's a few little like hilly bumps here. Um, you know, you know, from all the pictures you've seen, everything at the rescue vehicles and you know, authorities. This is the spot um, they were at. I will walk down to the water's edge so you can see. But yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't tell that that is water. I know it's water because I've been here, you know. But I can't tell that there's water past this portion of this hill here with this small sagebrush. I mean, there's no path here, no road, but you know, it's a dirt that you can definitely drive over. But I can't tell that there's water beyond this. I can't tell at all. Now I don't know how close I could get to the edge before I would even be able to see. Uh, I'll go down a little bit more but you can see down there the little memorial set up for her um somebody put i'll take it down there so you can see it okay so we'll go down there i'll probably leave my headlights on just because it'll help us but, um, help me see 